Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 31st of August 1888, Mary Ann Nichols, commonly known as Polly Nichols, became the first confirmed victim of Jack the Ripper in the Whitechapel area of London. Not only had she suffered her throat being cut, but her body had been aggressively mutilated. Her corpse was left next to a gate in Bucks Row, which is now known as Durwood Street, and was discovered by a cart driver very early in the morning. It was three weeks before the inquest was concluded, by which time a second murder with a similar modus operandi had been committed. On studying this second body of Annie Chapman, the coroner noted that the similarity of the injuries in the two cases is considerable. Nichols was 43 years old when she was murdered, having found herself forced to live in boarding houses and workhouses after her alcoholism led her husband to leave her. She turned to prostitution as a way to earn money, and, in the early hours of the night she was murdered, had gone out to make enough money to pay for her bed in a boarding house at 18 Thrall Street. An hour before her murder, Nichols' friend and roommate Nellie Holland spoke to her as she walked the streets. Nichols had already spent her night's earnings on drink and so continued to search for customers. Holland was the last person to see her alive before her body was found by Charles Cross at 3.40am. Nichols's killer was never found, and debate continues to rage about the identity of the Whitechapel murderer, who was given the infamous nickname Jack the Ripper. <laughs>